Are you some kind of freak? How did you get that strong? Hundred push ups, hundred sit ups, hundred squats. That's what it takes if you're trying to reach the. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mac McCarty. We are at the gym right now. We are about to go hit a big old pull day. So I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. Um, afterwards, we're going to be going, I'm going to show you guys my throwing routine that I've been doing, just getting prepped to go to VCU. And just for anybody who's looking for a decent throwing program, um, I really believe in making the baseball move and not exactly velocity. So if you're looking for a velocity program, I wouldn't do mine. I would do something like driveline or whatever you guys want to look up, if there's anything online that you like or anything like that. So with that being said, I am going to take some pre-workout right now. Bam, grip pre-workout. Um, I'm actually going to throw a link on the video right now. And there's this super cool site. It's like supplementdeals.com. And it just literally takes every like supplement and it puts it into like some search generator and it just finds you super cheap supplements. Like I got three of these for $18 because they're having a blowout on some other site. So it's kind of a cool little thing. So I'll throw a link on there right now. Uh, so going to drink that up and then uh, I will see you guys for some pulling. Alrighty. So we are hopping back day off with some machine rows. We did two warm up sets just to get it loose. And then we immediately hyped up the intensity and did three drop sets. We didn't have much time. We only had about an hour or so. So I needed to get the intensity up right away. So we did machine rows and we did a drop set. Machine rows, those are a great replacement for dumbbell rows. If you don't want a dumbbell row that day, I wouldn't suggest doing machine rows every single time to replace dumbbell rows. But if you wanna mix it up, you gotta keep it fresh in the gym or you'll get burnt out. So then we worked four by 10 on bent over rows. And I can see Ryan's doing a great job trying to keep his back straight. He made a great form correction earlier in the day. He had a really rounded back, but as you can see, he's keeping it flat. So now I'm doing close grip barbell rows, and this is because I'm trying to low, grow my lower lats and then that lower mid back. It's not your lower back, but the mid part of your back. So if you guys need to grow that, I would try close grip barbell rows. So then we were to our vertical pulling movements, and we are doing wide grip lat pull downs. We went four by 10 here. And as you can see, I'm trying not to lock out my elbows all the way because I feel some tightness in my elbows when I go all the way up. So when I throw the next day or something, I just, I feel that tightness and it really hurts as I throw. So then we did V grip attachment. I would have liked to do neutral bar um, lat pull downs, but they didn't have that. So we just tried to get the widest V grip bar we could. And as you can see, I'm not going all the way up, but I'm trying to pull all the way down to my chest to get that complete contraction of the muscle. I'm trying to stay as strong as possible before I end up going to VCU. That way when I show up, I'm gonna be in shape and I'm gonna be ready to go right for fall baseball and hopefully compete for a spot in the starting rotation. And as you can see, Ryland's doing a great job. Ryland's been working out for about six months now and he was our best hitter at Pierce by a long, by long ways. Uh, he had our triple crown. He easily hit for the most power. I saw him hit some 400 foot home runs. So getting him in the weight room is going to be an amazing thing for him. So then we did uh, machine curls and machine curls are a great way for just to hit the biceps and really isolate him. As you can see, I'm going up and then I'm going slowly down. So now Ryland's going and uh, Ryland had a little bit of bicep tightness. So he lightened the weight and he's banging these out here. And for all you guys that aren't that big right now and you're just still in your in your weightlifting journey and you're still trying to put on muscle and gain strength for the next season or whatever sport you play, um, stay, stay motivated, stay encouraged. Um, I know my first year of weightlifting that I didn't, I didn't gain a whole bunch of weight, I didn't gain a whole bunch of size, but you guys can really, you can do it. No matter, as long as you stay to it, you guys can gain all the weight you need. So then I worked on my throwing program. And so I start off and this is gonna be my 60 to 70 foot throws. And as a movement guy, I try and get all my grips. I try and uh, feel them out every single day just to see what I'm working with. So I threw a whole bunch of change ups right here. And this is as I'm going out to 60 to 70 feet. So I suggest you guys get warm to about right there and then start feeling out your grips. So as you can see, I'm about 60 to 70 feet and I'm just throwing change ups and a few sliders. So then I worked my way all the way back to 200 to 220 feet and I'm doing full effort throws. This is kind of the one velocity portion of my throwing program. 
as I'm trying to throw it as hard as I can. And uh, I only throw two seamers in games, so I only hold a two seam grip because that's the, I get the most movement off of that. So no matter what distance I'm at, I always try and practice my two seam grip. So as you can see, I have to start the ball way to the left and it tails back over. And uh, so I do about 10 to 12 throws right there, full effort, as you can see. Try and throw the ball as hard as I can. So then I move to about 100 feet or so, and then I do 15 to 20 throws. And these are my most important throws of the day for my fastball, in my opinion, because I really try and rip off those seams and see how much I can get the baseball to move. And I usually do this from the three-quarter arm slot, because if I do it for my submarine slot, the ball doesn't usually make it there. So now I'm moving into my submarine slot a little bit more, and I'm going fastball and change up. And I'm kind of doing the same thing that I did earlier. Um, I'm trying to throw my fastball as hard as I can and really rip off those seams. And this is kind of, in a sense, my long toss for submarine because I can only go up to about 90 or 100 feet before I have to chuck it way high in the air and, and I'm using bad mechanics. So there's a change up and I'm really trying to rip off on my fingers and see how much wrist action I can get. That's the difference in my program and a lot of people's is you're trying to throw the ball as hard as you can Well, I'm trying to see how much I can get it to move. As someone who only throws 83 to 85 submarine, I really have to rely heavily off movement and location. So as you can see, I'm throwing sliders right now. I'm working as hard as I can to see how much movement I can get. So that's pretty much my throwing program for the day. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> I was like... No, that's what I did sometimes. That was nasty. That last one was nasty. Just finished up throwing. Getting better. Uh, worked on, honestly, again, movement, like I told you guys at the beginning um, of the video. I don't throw very hard. I'm only like 83 to 85 submarine and then like 85 to 87 overhand. So I'm not a very hard thrower, but I really rely off movement. So every time I'm throwing a ball, I'm really trying to rip it off with my fingers or really get my wrist action to work, trying to strengthen my fingers and my wrists. Because I've noticed the more that I've done that, the more that my ball moves and the better late breaking action I get or my slider, the more sideways action I get. So um, I'm about to go Ryland and Hudson and we're about to go get some L&L &L at this Hawaiian barbecue restaurant, have a little lunch with the guys and uh, I'll see you guys there, show you what I get. So that's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just great day right there, working out, going getting a meal with my buddies and then going and doing my throwing program. That's pretty awesome. Fun day, really relaxed. So if you guys are trying out my throwing program, just be aware that I'm a movement guy. I'm not trying to add velocity. Um, I only throw 84, 85, right in that range. So I don't throw super hard, but as a subby guy, I'm just trying to get my ball to move as much as I can. All those throws, I'm trying to work my finger as hard as I can or see how much I can snap my wrist. So if you guys want to try and gain velocity, I would suggest doing something. There's a program around my area called Driveline. I would try that out. Uh, look up some stuff online. And you guys just got to work at it really hard. Nothing's going to come easy to you. There's not going to be a single program or anything that's going to add five miles an hour to your ball in a week or something like that. Or you're going to get three extra inches of break in a week. It's going to take time. It's a huge process. Baseball, nothing in baseball just comes overnight. You got to work for every single thing you get. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment if you guys have any questions or suggestions. If you end up trying my throwing routine out, or if you guys try the workout out, then put it in the comment section, tell me what you guys think. So if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, you can do that right here. And I'm just really happy that I get these opportunities every single day just to come out and play baseball. And I hope you guys are taking this off season super hard right now and you're just putting in as much work as you can because this is the time to get better. The time to get better is not during the season, it'd be too late. So right now what you're doing is you gotta grind out these off season and these summers so when spring comes around, you're at your peak. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, until I see you guys next time, peace.